Hello, and welcome to the first episode of The Grass Block. I'm your host, Zenul, and as it says at the top, you are in fact watching an introduction to The Grass Block. So, as an introduction, I'll start by explaining who or what it is. The Grass Block is Minecraft media, everything from how-tos to architecture, game commentary, or just random banter. We're here to feed the world its daily dose of Minecraft. I'll be here to lead you through this dark and addicting world while trying to provide an entertaining commentary as well as guidance to all new players. But I digress. We are here, we are now, and we have crap to build. So, first on our list, minecarts. Happy face. So, by now, I'm sure just about every Minecrafter is familiar with minecarts. They're these little metal boxes that we ride around in. But, uh, they're not only good for simple modes of transportation, as the Minecraft community has discovered, they have some very interesting traits. So, this time around, I'm going to show you a little trick I, uh, taught myself while screwing around in this sandbox of a world. And, and yes, before you comment, I did abuse some inv edit and, uh, MC edit. But, that was just to make this, uh, this. Mostly just practice and stuff. This is my solution to, or I guess modified solution to a perpetual subway system or minecart system. It's modified from two different videos that I watched on YouTube, so I decided to test out some theories and turns out I was right. We have this, which I got from WTF Minecart, or WTF Minecraft. Go check out his channel, he's awesome. Um, it's a constant thing, a constant booster system, so it'll just keep going around and around and, you know, do its thing. But that's only to propel the minecarts that come out of here, as well as side boosters, those are already common, to jettison the cart along. But what it does is it all takes the minecart. All of it takes the minecart here, to water, where it slows the cart down until it drops and the booster hits it again, which is why it is perpetual. But the reason for this is it's you have 30 seconds, so if you want a stop system, say you're working in a subway or you want to make, uh, I don't know, you want to make a system to get around, but you don't want to necessarily wait all the time f for the right moment just to jump in the minecart and go. So, you have this. Water that slows down the minecart and allows for the player or anybody to just kind of hop in, wait a little bit, or if you're impatient, I mean, get behind the thing and push it. But then you can just hop right in, wait for the booster, and bam, you're on your way. You don't have to set down any minecarts, you don't have to break anything, it's, it's always here for you. And it's constantly going. And then, when you get to your stop, just get out, get up, and leave. So, that's my little prototype. It's fairly simple, but, you know, figured I'd get it out there. Uh, figured, uh, from my past mistakes, it, uh, it surpasses the rest, as this is not perpetual in any way, shape, or form. It just does that a lot. So, yay, minecarts. Moving right along. Alright. The following is, uh, probably somewhat of an ego stroke for me, but I figure, you know, architecture and all that noise. But, uh, I'm gonna go check out one of my personal projects. This is, uh, my own world, or one of my own worlds. It's, uh, not edited in any way. It's just, uh, built by hand. Over there, we have the project that we're going to go view. I call it the Necropolis Project. I have it up on my DeviantArt as well. So if you want, uh, uh, a top-down view of the, uh, the necropolis. I'll link you to the page in the description. But in the meantime, let us head towards it. Whilst the sun greets us. Um, unfortunately, I made it a bit of a ways away, so it takes a bit to get there. I showed this previously on one of my live casts, but I haven't been able to do any decent live casting since Procaster hates me. So in the meantime, I thought I might as well just throw it up on here. When I can get to it. 
It's uh, far from finished right now. I got kind of lazy and stopped working on it for a while, but... We have two towers. They're both hollowed out. You can walk inside them. Uh, back there, you can see the top of it is the Slipgate Temple. And then this here is the face of the Necropolis. <clears throat> uh, long walk. I should have made stairs like right there or something. But I think in the meantime, before we do that, because the only way to get down is via the Slipgate Temple. Alright, so over here we have the Slipgate Temple. It's fairly small, it's nothing, uh, nothing too amazing. But this goes to the Nether. Fun times. It's built right on the side of the mountain. Uh, down here we have... Oh, sweet! Nothing! Alright, good to know. And then over here, I believe we have storage. If I'm not sorely mistaken. Yes, we have storage! Oh, well that's quite the storage system I've got going there. Alright. And then let's, let's get out of here. Now then. On to the necropolis. I put it on peaceful because the necropolis has a uh, has a tendency to attract dead things. So, you know, just for the sake of this video and showing it off, it's on peaceful mode. You can't directly enter these, but there is going to be a walkway system which uh, allows you to go to the top. It's it's hollow inside, but uh, I'm just lazy. So, in here is the necropolis with all its ominous noises and stuff. And stuff noises! Uh, down here will eventually be entrance into the Undercity, but again, I got lazy and stopped working on it. Hey, iron, as we can. Back up here, I will go to the bridge and show you the view from up there. Over here we have two small catacombs. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these, but they're cool looking and stuff. Array architecture. Yeah, you'll notice uh, probably one of the more common themes with the grass block is I really like building stuff. So, uh, oh. And not falling. Not falling is always a good thing, too. coming around this side, we have the front of the entrance to the Undercity built just on the side of the scaffolding. Or, walkway, I guess. Two bridges, three bridges to stretch across the scaffolding in case, or walkway, in case you don't want to go all the way around. Ceiling is just exuberantly high. And, see, that's probably why dead things like this place, that huge spot of black. This side I haven't done anything with, but I have a feeling I'm just going to make another staircase. And then... That's pretty much it. That's all I have done, really. But, you know, that's that. Eventually, I'll get back to working on it. Just, uh... Probably post more videos later. But, that is the Necropolis. At least, for the moment. And, and that's sheep. Just, just so you're aware. Sneaky, sneaky sheep. Chicken. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for episode one, introduction to the grass block. But uh, I think now, hopefully, you should have a better understanding as to what we do. Hopefully have a little more entertaining videos as the uh, time goes on, but right now, this is all I've got for you right now. Right, right, that was redundant. Right now, I've, this is all I've got for you right now. But yes, that's that's it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment and all that noise.